Welcome to Economics. We're talking about the concept of elasticity, of the price elasticity of demand. Consider the following price function. We have the price equal 20 minus 5 times the quantity. So on the horizontal axis, the quantity. On the vertical axis, the price. Which means the demand function goes down from 20 to 4. So, for example, if we have a price of 10, 10 euros or 10 dollars, we have a quantity demanded of 2. Because if you put 2 here into the quantity, 20 minus 5 times Q equals 10. So a price of 10 leads to a quantity demanded of 2, and so forth and so on. Which means this is the demand function, indicating the concept of the price and the quantity. So we want to consider the price elasticity, which is the coefficient of the change of the relative change of quantity divided by the relative change of price, which means the absolute change of quantity divided by the average quantity, multiplied of course, if you want, by 100, divided by this, the average, the, excuse me, the total change of the price divided by the average price. So here, for example, let's just consider this point. We have a price of 15, so it's 15 equal to 20 minus 5 times Q, which means we want to know, first of all, what is the quantity demanded if we have a price of 15? The answer is 1, because 20 minus 5 times 1 equals 15. So if we want 15 euros or 15 dollars, the quantity demanded equals 1. Now let's just change the price. We change the price from 15 dollars down to 10 dollars, which means the price is reduced by 5 dollars. So, what happens to the quantity demanded? First, the quantity demanded was 1. Now, if the price equals 10, the quantity demanded equals 2, which means a price change, a price reduction of $5 leads to a rise of the quantity demanded by 1, by 1 unit. So, what do we have here? The total change of the quantity demanded is 2 minus 1. It is 2 minus 1. Or if you want 1 minus 2, we don't care, we don't care too much. So 2 minus 1 divided by, very important, divided by the average quantity. The average quantity between 1 and 2 equals 1.5. So here the average quantity is 1.5. The same holds true for the price. The price goes down from 15 to 10, which means the total change in price equals 5, divided by the average price. The average price between 15 and $10 is 12.5. So we have this relative reduction. The absolute reduction divided by the average price indicates the relative reduction which means the price goes down by 40% and if the price goes down by 40% the quantity demanded goes up, the quantity demanded rises with 66.67% which means a relative change in the quantity demanded of 66.67% divided by the relative price change of 40% equals the elasticity, equals the price elasticity of demand of 1.667. So this is a very important concept. What does that number mean? That number means if the price is reduced by 1%, quantity goes up. Quantity goes up by, by 1.67%. That's very important for you to understand. And like if you reduce the price by 2%, then the quantity goes up by 2 multiplied by this number, and so forth, and so forth. So, very important to know, if we take a look at this point, we had a price elasticity 
of uh, 1.67, which is strictly superior to 1. If we calculated a price elasticity here, or there, or there, the price elasticity would have been strictly inferior to 1. And here, at this point, right in the center, right in the middle, the price elasticity equals 1, and only 1, exactly 1, so which is called unit elastic. The quantity demanded, the demand function, is elastic here, which means quantity demanded goes up more than the price goes down. Everything understood in percent as a relative change. And here is totally the other way around. So, elastic part of the demand function, inelastic part of the demand function, and the unique elastic point here. So, you have to understand first how to calculate the price elasticity and how to interpret it, how to interpret the number itself. And of course, just keep that in mind, it's all negative. So, if the price goes down, the quantity demanded goes up. So, to be honest with you, it would be it would be better to, to, to put a minus sign in front of it, but we, are not, we don't care too much about the sign, we just care about the amount, the number itself, not, this, not the minus sign. But it is minus because the price goes down and the quantity goes up. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.